Hi, my name is Johan Falk. This is the third video about Skill Compass. As the previous video, I'm going to talk about SkillCompass.org and not actually the Skill Compass modules. This is just one example of how to use the Skill Compass modules. You've probably heard this before. Uh, I have now logged in to the site using a test account. You can see your uh, test is here. I have well, it says I have seven points, and I'm, I'm going to show you how what these uh, are and how they work. Uh, when I'm logged in. I can uh, have a look at learning resources again. Let's just pick something here. And um, I can now, when I'm logged in, uh, not yet vote, but I can uh, mark this one as completed. And I am now like finished this resource. I probably read it and thought it was great and learned a lot from it. And something. And, and let's see. If I reload the page here now, it should say, yeah, I got one point when I completed a learning resource. And that's that's kind of useful. Uh, so you can collect points on this site when you learn stuff. And I hope that's kind of encouraging. I don't know. Um, hopefully. Uh, let's learn a few more things here. Learning resources. I have now learned this one, this one, and this one, and this one. The relation module, that's a difficult one. Well, yeah, great. And um, if I look at my account now, I have now 12 points in total. And now I have leveled, uh, if we have a look at the level up tab here, uh, it says that white belt I get when signing up on the site. You can do that, you, you are required to verify your email address. Oh, this image is broken, that's bad. Um, all that well never mind and um, and when you hit 10 points uh, you are allowed to rate learning resources and you are allowed to mark topics as mastered and you get more points than for, for doing things like that let's see here if I go back to one of my learning resources like this one that I already have completed I can now I should be able to rate it come on oh it's hmm I need to clear a cache. Let's add this to my quick list. That will clear the cache. I have a quick list here, kind of useful as well. You can add stuff here. Ah, oh, damn caching problems. Uh, add to quick list. Come on, in my quick list. Yeah. Okay. So some caching problems here. Sorry about that. But I can now vote here, and if I think this was a great. Um, uh, tutorial I can say this was very correct it was clear and it was kind of entertaining let's give it a four here and that will hopefully help others to find the best resources or something and um, then maybe I've used this uh, uh, and understood well say I've, I'm learning the relation module this is a topic this was a re learning resource one piece of content I could read and uh, like a blog post or a video or something it might be included in the relation module, which is a topic, and we have a lot of uh, resources on, on this topic. Then I can now mark this topic as learned. So I mastered this topic, and that will give me a few points as well. Let's see, five points for mastering a topic. Um, yeah, um, these are things you can do, uh, like uh, creating quick lists, kind of useful if you want to go back to resources easily. Uh, you can mark resources as completed. You can mark um, topics as learned or mastered. You get points and, and things. Let's actually see it up here. Something appeared here when I learned this uh, topic here. It says topics in my learning vicinity. When I uh, ha understand the relation module, uh, the site suggests that you might want to learn additional relation modules or the relation select module. Let's see this is all about and then you in some way are guided to find more things that you want to learn and can if I scroll down here this relation select module is a topic and it says it requires the relation module and it requires views basics and I now know the relation module so that's why this was suggested for me if I go to views basics might be a good place to start if I want to learn this first I can like learn things here mm, going through all these uh, resources very interesting I'm very quick learning here 
And then eventually I learned Vue's basics. If I reload here, probably get a lot of points for this, yeah. Uh, I have new topics that I can learn, like climbing uh, the learning tree or something. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, some, some of the easy stuff you can do, uh, like you get some nice tools when you log in and get a few your first few points on the site. You can also, once you're logged in, use this uh, well, commenting functionality, of course, on the site. That's nice here. But you could also use Twitter if you want to just throw a comment on an individual page without logging in first. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Then I'm going to talk about uh, managing uh, uh, connections between, uh, uh, between topics. That could be pretty interesting. See you there. Bye.